right. Welcome to today's episode of Your Daily Scrum. I am professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. This gentleman over here is professional scrum trainer Todd Miller. How's it going, Todd? That was a really sad introduction. No, I'm happy. We get together. I love getting together every day talking about everybody's scrum questions. You know, Todd, a lot of people leave their questions in the comments. We turn Mm -hmm. around and answer them. Actually, Todd, is if you see an answer in the comments, it's likely Todd. I got to admit, every (laughs) every once in a while, I jump in there and I stir the pot and have a little fun. But Todd is usually the one digging into your questions and giving great answers. I think I did a few yesterday, but uh, he keeps track of all the questions you ask. And then when we get on these calls, he Ryan, here's the set of questions that everyone's been asking us, and we try to knock those out. So leave comments yeah. below. Um, ask your questions. Um, you're also helping each other a ton. Keep yeah, that keep, up. Yep. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. Help us keep the channel going, right? Like and subscribe. That's the best way to do it. All right. So, Todd, you teed up a good question earlier today, and I thought, let's knock this one out. This is a good one. Do you need to be a PMP, a um, project management professional. It's a certification through the Project Management Institute. Do you need the PMP to be a scrum master? What do you think? So I don't have a PMP. I never have. I've actually never studied any of it. it. To be honest with you, sometimes I think that's a little bit of a fault because I think some of the things that I have done in my career have been in direct opposition to the stuff that's taught through the PMI. And I don't have as much knowledge of it as maybe I should, um, but I don't. Uh, so I guess the answer would be no, because I've been a scrum master and I feel like I've done pretty well in a scrum master role without it. So um, uh, all said and true, like true story though, I am not a PMP, nor have I ever been. I've never studied it. I'm not there to judge anybody that has. I just haven't. I was spending the, you know, First 10 years of my career, coding. I was just checking the index of our book, right? Mm. Fixing your Scrum, Practical Solutions to Common Scrum Problems. If you don't have it, grab it. All your fine book places have it. I was looking for PMP in our index, and I didn't find it. I don't think we saw it as a solution to anything. Did you? Would you agree? Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. So my, I never told you my PMP story. I don't think we've ever talked about this. I was actually, I went through a boot camp. Right. So I went through the full week, like where they just try to cram all that information in your head. And then it sets you up so that it finishes Friday and you take your test on a Saturday. I did it. Um, You know, it was fascinating, interesting stuff. I drove to the testing center and sat in the parking lot. And I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I about to go do this? I'm a scrum master. I've gone down an agile path. Why am I getting a certification from an organization that is not an agile organization? Why am I doing this? And I just sat in the car for a minute and I go, I'm just going to go home. And I, I went, I went home. I was that's like, such why? a Ryan, that's such a Ryan thing to do, right? <laughs> it is. And I'm just sitting there like, why am I about to put myself through this when there's absolutely nothing about the PMP that is going to um, lead me down the path of agility that is going to um, help me do the type of work in a complex domain that I, it's not going to help me solve complex problems. Mm -hmm. Now, if I were in construction, if I were in some kind of materials manufacturing, I think this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I think that's where this body of knowledge fits really well. But I, you know, Todd, for me, it's like the, the PMI is not an agile organization. The PMP is not an agile uh, certification or a set of practices that a scrum master would need. Yeah. Yeah, so I think all you're saying here, I think, is is notice that we're we're not crapping on it. No, <laughs> right. Oh, no, what no. we're saying is that what we're saying is recognizing what domain of work you're, that you're in. Uh, PMI type thinking uh, could be very relevant if you have a lot of certainty. Now, and when I say certainty, that means you can explicitly define the inputs. And then you're very certain of your outcomes, right? That's, and they're very repeatable. Building a house, materials repeatable, materials repeatable, but you still need someone to manage all of that and put it on a Gantt chart and all that other stuff. Um, Complex product development, developing a new marketing strategy for a customer, uh, developing software. It's not gonna uh, cut it. 
It's not. Um, it's really emergent. Uh, so we don't know what we don't know. So we need to take an agile approach to it, right? Which is where the agile manifesto came to begin with because software is in the conflict domain of work. So I think it's not applicable there. And everything that I know about it tells me that um, the skills and practices that you learn there are not applicable yeah. um, to the complex domain of work. And you're reconfirming that by you just sitting in your car having a panic attack and leaving. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I, I was really just why how is this how does this serve me in complex yeah. work? Yeah. And it just it's it the PM these ideas that they teach, they're great ideas for that simple and com and uh, simple complicated. and complicated domains. Yeah. That it works beautifully there. But once we move into that upper left quadrant of on Snowden's Kinefin model, mm -hmm. it's no longer applicable. And we, I needed a different skill set. And so I had to break some of that old thinking. And I just drove away and I focused on my, my scrum.org path mm -hmm. and full, full transparency. If you look me up, I focused on a lot of, you know, I did the, the scrum alliance path. I looked at the, the PMI ACP from the, from the PMI and, and achieved that. Um, and so they, they have, you know, relevant things over there, but the PMP just isn't one of them. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Hopefully we were respectful there. End screen time, Todd. End screen. Be sure to check out the socials, like, and subscribe. Make sure, you know, I was looking at the, the data. The majority of you watching the videos have not subscribed to the channel. Take a minute, hit that bell. Make sure you don't miss any of the great uh, videos we drop. Um, whoa, check it out. Some videos just popped up. Maybe you'll like those too. Um, let us know in the comments. What can we answer for you? How, how can we help? because more than likely it will turn into a future video. Uh, for Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forward. Have a great day. Do Scrum a little bit better. Let us know how we can help you do that, and we'll check in again with you tomorrow. Sounds good.